Hey there guys, it's Salas, and welcome back to Salas' Week of Anime. And welcome to Azure Striker Gun Vault. This is another action platformer in the anime genre. Let's dive in. Uh, let's... Oh, it's got a speedless mode. Speed run mode, sorry. An endless attack mode. Various stages where ever having to take a break from the action. Privation cannot be used. Privation? What the hell? I think we might need to start a new game and get used to some of these words like privation. Let's dive in. Now, one thing I will say, though, is in this, it's B to select and not A. And I think I know the reason. This was designed very much with the layout of the DualShock controllers, like DualShock 3, DualShock 4 in mind, where the B button would be the circle button. And as it's a Japanese game, circles are used in places of what we in the West use as just check marks or ticks. So circle is going to be your accept. So let's uh, press B and start a new game. Begin a new game in this slot? Yes, I will. His mission, silence the muse and free the world from its trance, but the clear-cut lines around him have already started to blur. Okay. Hmm. Well, terrorist, are you ready to admit it? Okay, don't make your villain look obviously evil. Or shall I loosen the lips with another crack of the... Electro Scourge. I love, I do like this like comic book way of doing the cutscenes though. This is kind of cool. I like this. Quill sent you here to destroy the muse. To silence her, am I right? Well, the Sumeragi group is smarter than you, scum. We've already moved our little virtual canary to safety. In other words, you've wasted your time. What do you think of that? I'm not saying fuck all. <laughs> How old are you, boy? Did Quill promise to pay you big pig for the job? Shame you won't ever hear the Muse's anthem again. You'll never feel the ecstasy as her music laps at your auditory cortex. Truly a drug for the mind. No, I think you've probably got real drugs for the mind. Thank you very much. Anyway, she's on a freight train out of here as we speak. And you, boy, will die. In the silence. Pretty much, I didn't say anything. Man, your lips are way looser than mine. <laughs> what? You can still move? But that's impossible! The scourge pumped enough electricity in you to... I am electricity. Nice. Holy shit, I'm a badass. This lightning! It's septimal power! You're an adept! Ding ding! Thanks for the whimpering! I need a good I need a good recharge. <laughs> Azure Light! Your gun vault! The Azure Striker! Now time to hunt down the muse. Okay, he is cowering in fear. I have a gun, nice. I have a lightning shield, that's cool. And I can jump, okay. I think we've got the basics here. GB to base, open the line. We need you, gun vault. Nice to hear you're not dead. Not this time. Update, the mission params. Sumeragi has moved the target. They put the Muse on a freight train out of the head of the facility. I'm in pursuit. Negative. We should vet the intel and make sure it's not a trap. Judgment over rules, Gunvolt. You are clear to pursue. He can handle himself. <laughs> he can handle himself, Minoqua. 
just keep scanning for changes. Yes, sir. Play nice out there, GB. Zeno, are you patched in? Affirmative, boss. Man, I caught it all. Moving into support position. You know, in case Jeeves actually decides to let me help, right, Jeeves? I'll take it under advisement. Advisement? Gee, thanks. I feel love now. Alright, enough. You've got a muse to deprogram. Asimov out. Oh, Isaac Asimov. Okay, let's go. Let's go do some action platforming. I love the art in this, by the way. Look at this. He leaves a trail behind him. He's that fast. You do get a genuine feeling of speed. Should use the lightning shield bar up the arse. No, my lightning shield. Oh, my lightning shield does hurt them. Okay. That's kind of cool. Lightning shield! I love the fact I can just melt them. Melting you! Because I can't... You can't shoot up. Okay. So the lightning shield is designed for up and down and your gun is side to side. Okay. Noted. Yes, die, all of you. Whoa, you haven't meant to throw something. Is he fit on the look of it? There you are, you're down. This is so old school, it's untrue, and I'm loving every second of it. Elevator, stop. No juice. Where's the switch? Up there. There it is. I need to channel electricity into that switch. Should be as simple as just tagging it and flashing it. Tag with my gun, follow with the flash field. That's how my world turns. Okay, so tag it with the gun. And then charge it with the flash shield. Yes! Okay, so when you tag something, it target locks it. That's cool. I like that. That is a, that is a fun mechanic. Although, I can't help but think it does get a bit exploited because, as you saw earlier, I tagged that enemy and the, uh, the tag marks were just on the edge of screen. The enemy wasn't able to hurt me, but I was. Gunvolt, how are your EP levels? I think his EP is big enough, thank you. Can't have you running out of juice. Missions like this burn through septimal energy fast. Remember to give your EP time to recover. If you don't want to wait, you can manually recharge. Double tap down as you go. And don't forget, if you run out of EP, you'll overheat. Which means... You won't be able to use any of your electrical powers. Hey, I got it. Who are you lecturing? It's my Septima. So I can just... Oh, okay. So I double tap the down. I can charge up. Okay, fair enough. Nice to know. Oh, great. It's a wall of guns. I'll just fry them. Nice. Fry the guns! Fry them all! Haha! -ha, you wall of guns is nothing compared to my my flash shield. For God's sake, more guns! Yes, die. Whoa, avoid that. Nice. Okay, collision detection's a bit off, but I can forgive it, because it's awesome. I'm loving this. Oh, big guy, big guy. There is no crouch, but there is a jump behind. And fire! There we go! What's that? Is that a thing? Yep, that's a thing. I can indeed pick up a thing. Oh, for God's sake. Ha! Sucks to be you! That one, was, that one was tense. I had nothing to hide behind. No cover or anything. And that thing can't aim for 
shit. Okay, so I'm guessing with those, I've got to... Well, I can't just do this. I've got to use the flash field to... Like, block the incoming projectiles and fire with my gun. The question is, can I do both at the same time? Yes, I can! I mean, granted, it means doing that claw thing that people do with their controllers, but... Yeah, it works. It blocks projectiles. Kind of. When you use it properly. There we go. Ha-ha! <laughs> yes, sucks to be you. I am loving this so far. Just recharge. One thing I would levy at this, apart from like the hit detection, the fact that you can just do this instant recharge can make some encounters really easy. Oh, it doesn't block those, okay. Normally when you have access to a force field, you're fine, but no. Oh, I'm gonna... Am I gonna either... Yeah. That's a combo. There we go. Stage clear. Okay, those are checkpoints. I get that. Ha 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 ha! Your bazookas are nothing! I have a lightning shield! No double jump, but I have a lightning shield, so that makes up for the no double jump. <laughs> are you just turning your back on me? You coward! You utter, utter coward! Oh, this looks like a boss! This does indeed look like a boss. Opening fire! I'm staying up on this box, it looks nice and safe. <laughs> yes! Oh, I've got to disable that thing as well. Okay, that's that's a nifty little mechanic. It, it recharges if you don't destroy its core. I'm liking it. Right, destroy the core. Doing heavy damage to the core. Oh shit, it revived again. Yeah, this this guy's tricky. Opening fire. The, no, the core doesn't recharge. Okay, okay. So it still just maintains whatever damage it's got. Yes. Big stompy tank monster down. Come on. Oh, it's chainsaw guy. Okay, I can deal with chainsaw guy. Oh, you're, you're a gun guy. Okay. Enemy variation, not so much with this game. So far, anyway. I mean, there's two different models of this thing. Which is okay, I suppose. And we've had, like, big stompy tank guy. But other than that, it's been, like, those flying things and the people in armor. There's Chainsaw Guy. Oh, we've got a guy with a shield, smart ass. Your ass isn't that smart, is it? That just does universal damage. You're fucked. <laughs> oh, hello. There's a thing. I must have all the things. Universal damage! Oh, 
I mean, I'm hoping you can upgrade the gun later on in the game, because even though I'm enjoying this right now, it would benefit quite a lot from having, like, Mega Man-style power-ups. Because it does evoke a very Mega Man-esque feel. Uh, need I mention the music? The music is awesome. You didn't even see me coming. And apparently that guy is... I'm going to say two days away from retirement because it's a common joke. But he really was not paying attention. Right, protect you from the rocket and kill the guy in one go. Nice. Okay, so by the looks of it, the flash field only protects me from physical projectiles, not energy. So stuff like rockets and grenades, I can block. But laser beams, not so much. What is firing the laser beams? Stop firing laser beams. Oh no, it's not Big Stompy Tank Guy's second form. No! It is! It's Big Stompy Tank Guy's second form! What the hell? Is that a jump to attack it now? I do as much damage as I can. Instant recharge. Do as much damage as I can before he fires his laser beams. Holy fuck! This guy is tenacious. Ha! Your rockets—they do nothing. I've got no choice but to use a flash shield now because. Okay, so I die. Fair enough. Yeah, we know that. We know that. Fortunately, there is a checkpoint before laser beam guy. There's got to be a way to shoot in different directions, surely. Unless this is like a really slow burning boss fight, which is equally possible. No, I cannot fire in other directions. So use up some of the flash field. Avoid the laser beam. Oh yeah, it is a slow burning boss fight. That laser beam from his face is designed to force you to stay down so you can't jump and shoot his face. Okay, now I get the gist. And they're only, they're only small fire cannons, so... I uh, didn't count on this, did you? Right, fire at the core. Hit the core. Right, he's back up. Right. This is only his second form. I've got no idea what his final form is going to be like. Unless, of course, this is his final form. In which case, to hell with everything. Okay, so I can't even touch the big... The big git. Fortunately, though, every time you do damage to the core, this bit becomes a little easier. I can get behind that. Okay, so I can't I really can't go anywhere near it, and the only the only way I've got to do it is to jump. That was just me being that was just me being like really lazy for the sake of the video. Right, in comes Mr. Big Stompy Man. Now armed with laser beams. He's had an upgrade. Yeah, this does actually this first bit does actually get progressively easier every time, which is kinda cool. But you've gotta keep damaging the core. Oh 
I want to get past this boss fight. Just for the sake of the video. And then we'll end it after I kill him. And he's down again. Right, hit the core, hit the core. Come on. We can do this. Come on, Gunvolt. We can do this. See, unlike the other one where you had a, something to stand on, this is a bit trickier. Right, just throw this bit off. Nice and easy. Come on! Bouncy, bouncy, shooty, shooty. There we go. Keep all the explosions near his face, because that's cooler. I don't think they do, I don't think they do actually any more damage to the... Uh, to the tank monster. But it does look cooler when they explode right in his face. Right, try him. He couldn't even fire his laser beam. That's how pathetic this guy is. All will fail. Before the might of Gunvolt and Sons. But you say that, but I'll probably screw it up at some point. Exploding in your face! Yeah, I think I've got, I think I've got the rhythm now. Oh, so close! I am so close! I right, just gotta fry the shit out of him. There we go! Nice! And an awesome fanfare. Thank you. And on that note, I think this is where we're going to end the video. Because I don't think we're going to do any better than that. I love this game. It is beautiful. I mean, just look at it. It's very much an old school action platformer with some very tricky boss bits. And, oh, that was the end of the level. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> end of the level. We did one whole, well, two whole levels. I'm actually quite proud of this. So, thank you all for watching. And, until tomorrow, I've been Silas. He's been Gunvolt. We've destroyed a big tank guy with laser beams. And we will see you next time.